Tonight we begin with the major hurricane that is just hours away from hitting Florida. Here is the most updated forecast our weather team has of Hurricane Milton. The current category 4 storm is expected to make landfall tonight between 10 and 11 p.m. Central Time. Meteorologist Chris Kubal will have more on that uh, in just moments from now. But we want to give you some images of what's happening. Look at this. These are just the outer bands of the hurricane. OK, you can see the effect that's having already. This was around noon in Fort Myers. The wind is whipping those palm trees around and they already have heavy rain and uh, a little bit of flash flooding there. So here's a scene that we are familiar with though here in Iowa. An unfortunate side effect of hurricanes can be tornadoes. They are popping up as Milton moves in. This was taken by the Florida Department of Transportation earlier this afternoon as well. All of this happening in one final day of chaos, particularly on the west coast of Florida. Millions of people, they're still trying to beat the storm, packing up and leaving their homes even as late as this, mor this morning. Hurricane Milton is closing in on Florida. You saw the wind, the rain and the tornadoes they're already dealing with, but record breaking storm surge is one of the biggest concerns. We'll have coverage throughout tonight here on Local 5, updating you as we can. But right now, here's what we know. Our latest forecast shows Milton will make landfall tonight between 9 and 11 as a category 3 hurricane. Some parts of Florida could see it could see as much as 12 feet of storm surge and 12 to 18 inches of heavy rain. That's a lot of water there, folks. We also know that six airports in Florida remained closed, leading to nearly 2000 canceled flights. Gas is running thin with a quarter of all Florida gas stations now without fuel. At least 10 tornadoes have been reported today alone in the state already a very active situation and this isn't even the worst of it. Yet. It is we got the outer bands with the tornado outbreak today. Dozens of reports now coming in. The shear that's kind of causing Milton to weaken is actually strengthening those outer bands and creating a better chance for tornadoes to form. So a one two punch and that second punch is going to be even stronger. Let's take a look at Milton as it stands right now. Category three sustained winds 120 miles per hour with gusts to 150. Uh, this one is moving to the northeast at about 15 miles per hour. We're eyeing areas around Saratoga to Bradenton for landfall again later this evening. You can see those outer bands lashing now onto the Atlantic coast and still some confirmed tornadoes out that way from it. Again, landfall expected late this evening, early tonight, about 9 to 11 o'clock central time. And the weakening as it does cut across the, pen the peninsula and back out into the Atlantic. Now those wind gusts right now are largely held in check, but still 60 miles per hour right along the Gulf Coast. That's getting up there to that threshold. We start being concerned with severe thunderstorms back here in the Midwest. Only going to grow stronger as that eye wall pushes closer to the coast. Also, that strong storm, even though it is weakening, I don't want you to get a false sense of security out of this. We are going to be looking at that storm surge really pushing up, especially between Tampa and Fort Myers. That is where we're expecting the worst of it. Back close to home, mild days with sunshine continue until it doesn't anymore. You start to see that change in the weekend. I'll highlight those changes ahead coming your way. All right, Chris, thank you. And you can stream live coverage of Hurricane Milton on We Are Iowa Plus. This is a look at what's streaming on there right now. Our team on the ground at 10 Tampa Bay are keeping you informed and connected before and after the storm hits. This is local coverage in that area. Again, you can stream this coverage all evening long on We Are Iowa Plus. Just add us on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV.